The Gene Keys wisdom is something that needs to be coaxed from up here to down here. You can feel it in your bones, in every cell of your being. And it feels like peace and love and God. So to allow for that process to shift into our heart mind, we're going to do a little meditation. So I invite you to gently close your eyes and take three big deep breaths with me. Go ahead and exhale and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, as deep as you can. Inhale. And exhale. And I want you to put your awareness at the base of your spine, where it all begins, the void, the nothing. And this place represents your purpose. It's who you are here to be in the world. Our path, our dharma, as the sun revolves around the earth for as many times as we're alive, is to be, not to do anything. It is to be full of light, full of love, to be grace, divinity. Our doing is flavored by this sense of being. How we do in the world is dictated by how we are. And that sense of being is your purpose. Your purpose is tied intimately to your spine. So on your next inhale, I want you to Take your awareness and travel up your spine from the very base of your sit bones all the way up to the very top of your skull. And on the exhale, I want you to let that energy come back down in front of your third eye, in front of your heart, out in front of your body, and then on the inhale, sucking it back up your spine. Again, on the inhale, all the way up your spine. Feel for places out in front. And just keep that cycle going. And I want you to feel for places where that energy might be getting stuck. And I want you to just be with that place. Don't try and change it. Don't think about it. Just feel it. And know that that's a place that you're holding something. And part of your purpose is to let that go. So you have this quality of being in the world where the city can pour through you and people can see so clearly that there is something more. And that something more is beyond desirable. People know it is the thing that we are here to cultivate. Now we move up to the solar plexus, to our radiance, to our light that pours out into the world. Our radiance is what allows our aura to grow so big and influence so many people. <sighs> On each inhale, I want you to imagine your aura expanding out as wide as you can think. 
And as you exhale, letting all that energy out and sucking your aura back into your heart. Inhale all that light as your aura expands out to encompass everything and everyone in all time and all space. And exhale as that aura sucks back in and gets so concentrated, so bright in the core of your being in that solar plexus area. And just keep that cycle up. And feel that light that's hidden in all of those dark places, inside of you, outside of you, in space, in every cave, on every mountain. There is darkness that just contains so much light when we learn how to unleash it. And this is the power of your radiance, turning the dark to light. And now we move into our evolution. into this challenge where we develop our inner warrior, where we need to become a spiritual warrior. This path is not all love and light. The love and light is right next to the deep, deep, deep darkness that you feel. It's not even next to it, it's within it. As you take a breath in, I want you to just feel the struggle, the challenge, the intensity, the pressure that this world represents. And as you exhale, I want you to sigh it out of your body. Let it go. Know that most of it is not yours. It's collective, it's conditioning. It's forgetting. Big exhale. Oh. Just let it out of your body. Connect with it deeply, honor it, trust it, and let it go. Your evolution, your challenges are not your enemy. Feel them in your body, turn towards them. Recognize that it is grace reaching down for you to pull you ever closer to your highest potential. to your true being and returning non-love with love and developing our ability to handle any and every situation from a place of godliness. Let it go. Honor it, trust it. And now we move up to our third eye, to our crown, to our throat, to our life's work, what we are meant to do in the world, who we are meant to serve, how we can express our genius, our gifts to the world in a way that serves us and them. In a way that no one can, ever will, ever has. Because this is your unique genius. Feel it permeating every cell of your being, every cell of your brain, of your heart, 
of the base of your spine, of your belly, of that wellspring in the bottom of your feet. Know that holding that ideal makes everything you must do in your life from the smallest act to the largest. Our duty in serving the higher good and serving God and serving your need to make this world that much closer to reunion, that much closer to remembering. Breathe in the certainty of the wisdom that you've learned, that you continue to learn. Breathe out the not knowing, the uncertainty. Breathe in the ascended masters, the guides, those that have walked the path before you that can lead you when you let it all go. Exhale your past. Exhale everything not serving you. Inhale. And hold and just feel that light all through your body. Feel that power, that will. coursing through your veins, providing you with endless energy to do what you are meant to do. Feel how this sphere of the life's work moves into the sphere of the brand. As we feel that energy, we feel that knowing, we feel that certainty, we know how we're meant to speak to the world. We understand our sword and how it's meant to slice through our obstacles, through our enemies, not to end them, but to give them a new beginning. Feel your alignment with your divinity at your heart and at your belly. Feel how it expresses through your voice. Feel that voice, its vibration carrying out into the world, casting spells on everyone they meet. We're going to make three ohms now to signify our voice, our brand, our truth coming from us and entering into the breath of our ancestors. Their same truth still resonating in us and around us. Exhale, inhale. before thoughts 
in the place of frequency so that you may carry that frequency out into the world through your aura and through that radiance and affect deeply those in your fractal meant to hear your message. We move now to the sphere of your culture. The beacon of light that you send up to the world to call in those people in your fractal to serve the greatest good in a synarchy together. <sighs> Where we forget the old idea of hierarchy. And we step into this heterarchy where everyone is even, all allowed to share their gifts equally. We call out to our fractal, to our soul brothers and sisters. We offer them our light in service so that we may create together and start to change the course of this world. We are the transition team. Breathe into the base of your spine. Feel that frequency. And know that that same frequency is in the hearts of millions of people. All of whom are designed to connect with you in some way, big or small. And share a message that we are here as Gaia to reunite with the Godhead. And together, is our path. We move now to the sphere of our pearl. This sense of being that all is exactly as it's meant to be. This feeling of prosperity that we are balanced in our left and in our right, our masculine and our feminine, our being and our doing, our knowing, our believing, our trusting, the yin and the yang. And through that balance, the universe brings everything that is meant for you. There's no need to struggle, no need to fight. Prosperity is knowing that you already have it. This feeling of abundance in our relationships with love, in our doing, with material wealth. In our health, in our bodies, as the light opens our cells and reprograms our being so that our systems, our endocrine system, our skeletal system, our respiratory system, our cardiovascular system begin to pulse again with the light and life of God of the universe of being. And that balance brings a prosperity that we cannot fathom from the shadow. We're gonna take a couple alternating nostril breaths now to represent that balance. So you're gonna bring your hand up, thumb will block one nostril, 
first finger will block the other. Take a breath in. Go ahead and block one nostril. Exhale through the other. Keep your mouth closed. Inhale on that same side. Change nostrils. Exhale on the other side. Inhale on the same side. Exhale on the other side. Inhale, same side. Exhale, other side. Inhale, same side. And just continue that pattern on your own for a few more breaths. Engaging our corpus colostrum, that part of our anatomy that connects the right hemisphere and left hemisphere of our brain, the right side of our body and left side of our body, our being and our doing, our creativity and our focus, our drive and our relaxation. Feel the duality and know at the same time, below that duality is a place of oneness, of purity. And that place calls to us. It calls to us through the sphere of attraction, back in the core of our solar plexus now. Take a big breath into your belly, let it expand. Touch now our sexuality, our desire, our creativity, the drive to grow, the hunger for more. All ways that God drives our action. And we begin to manifest and attract the things in our life that serve our highest good. Put your hands on your belly and feel that cauldron. That place where we draw in our desires, our lower nature, the collective need for more. And we transmute that into fuel to serve God, to serve humanity. We call into us the things, the places, the people that turn the wheels of our growth that connect us to the higher and greater dimensions, that help us to remember. Feel that energy coursing through your belly, through your body, waiting to be unleashed into the world. Feel that light that you're magnetizing towards your core that we pull into us like a black hole what deep and amazing power we have and it is our responsibility to use that power for good not for the growth of us, but for the growth of humanity. 
not to be shoved back inside because we're afraid of what we can do. Move now into the sphere of IQ, the mental plane, the thoughts. masculine principle, thinking and trying to solve the problem, but knowing that that thinking must be in service to the feminine. We must be given the topic to think about. We cannot solve those problems, but trusting that they can be solved without us knowing how. Trusting that the way we think about the world is just conditioning, and that conditioning cannot solve the problem you are here to solve. keeping the loosest grip on that problem. Letting your brain work from a place of knowing. That allows for divine intervention and inspiration. Rebuilding the way that we think Back before we were programmed by school, by our parents. Remembering that those things, those people were not there to harm you. They did their best. They're there to connect you to your humanity to the other people in the world. And when we can see the love that connects us all, we can trust that the expression of the divine mind is never going to let us down. We don't have to think through what we say when God is talking through us. Move down now into your heart. Put your hands there. Feel its warmth. Feel its love. Feel its green. Know that at the center of every being, every being, not just those you love, even those who present the biggest problems to you, have done the most damage to the world. Even they have this at their core. Your heart can move mountains. And your SQ is here to be awakened. It's here to remember that it is in charge. Your SQ reminds you of delight. It reminds you of peace, of fun, of play. It reminds you that you are here to be and do what makes you happy. Call into your heart someone you love, something you love. 
feel that energy coursing through your veins. Know that that love can do anything for you and for the world. You can handle anything with that love. You are safe. You are protected. That armor that is around your heart has served you well. And you must continue to be with it until it is ready. And know that you can crawl through that armor and give to yourself the gift of your heart. And when it's time, give that gift to the rest of the world. You can let those barriers down and trust that you are them and they are you and no one can take anything from you. No one can hurt you. And finally, we move into the sphere of our core, into the sacred wound. The place where we know that we used to be one. This crushing feeling of separation that we are not whole. That we crave so badly to reunite our piece of divinity with the divinity. In this deep place, we must understand that we carry the fears, the shame, the guilt. For the collective, this is not ours, but it is our responsibility. that slice of suffering is the suffering that drives every other being, every cell, every atom on this planet. And one day, one great and beautiful day, we will bring ourselves back to wholeness, to truth, to peace, veneration, celebration, intoxication, devotion, ecstasy, boundlessness, empathy, and eventually all the way back to emanation. Pick a city and know that that lies in reunion with the core. Three breaths to close out our meditation. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, thank you, thank you for being here with me, thank you God for working through me, let this wisdom come into your heart, come into your being, let it permeate every piece of your DNA, and you will see, you will feel, you will know a change and a peace. 
that intellectually you cannot understand. Thank you.